Today, Lalalu will show you how to get your own house and become an owner of a grocery shop without leaving your home. Shape light clay into a loaf of bread. Then add cuts so the bread looks like it's fresh out of the oven. To make a braided bread, roll three strips of clay. Join them at the beginning. Make a braid out of them. Your braided bread is done! Roll a ball out of clay. Make two cuts in the center and slightly flatten it so our bread looks more natural. We just have to color our pastry so it looks natural. A little pastry never killed nobody, especially when there aren't any extra <laughs> calories. Did someone order Morning Post? Maybe the residents of the coffee cup? We'll be using a saucer as a base. Make a step out of staples. Decorate the piece with a hedge made out of old branches and some green wool. Make a path out of brick pieces. Add some soil onto the saucer. And a threshold out of a wooden stick. Glue halves of toothpicks to the wooden panel. Let's place our bench near the path. We'll make an outside lamp out of a little tube and a glass bead on a needle. Make mini mushrooms from light clay. To make a fence for our fairy tale house, cut toothpicks and glue them to the edge of the saucer. Cut a circle out of wood patterned paper to fit the cup. Draw sections all over the circle. Glue the circle into the cup. Add a window frame made out of toothpicks and a door out of a wooden spatula. In order to make the front side stable, glue bricks to the bottom. Add ivy around the house. What a nice smell! Don't make a mess in the house with your boots. Let's place a foam paper mat in front of the door. Write welcome on it so everyone knows that guests are welcome here. And our coffee cup turned into a real hobbit's house. I love a healthy diet. Every time I go buy fruits, I just can't leave empty handed. Hey, I have never seen anything like this before. What happened to my fruits? Is this actually because of cold? Or do chemical plants have something to do with it? However, this led me to a great thought. What if we create a mini grocery shop? Let's make crates for fruits. Make sides out of wooden sticks. And fasten them to each other. Join the piece diagonally so the bottom is strong. There will be a lot of different fruits at our shop, so we need crates of different sizes. 
Now that we have containers, we need to come up with something to fill them. Light clay will help us. Our harvest doesn't depend on climate at all. That's why we can make a year's supply of fruits. The best thing is that they won't go bad. Glue halves of toothpicks around the perimeter of a cap so there are identical gaps between them. Wrap a nylon thread around each piece till you reach the top. When the sides are done, we can take care of safety. Let's color the basket. Make handles out of thread remains. Shape light clay into a lot of mini eggs. Let's make a bunch of bananas. Shape light clay into a crescent. Add some paint. And it's done! For an eco-friendly shopping bag, we'll need thin white fabric. Cut out pieces of the needed size and sew them on three sides. We just have to sew on thin strips to be handles. Make a pack for oranges out of a net. Cover the edges with paper and pinch the edges with a heated flat iron. When our bag is full, we can seal the other edge and add a price tag. Take the stick with wheels out of a broken toy car. Cut a piece of a kneaded size off a wooden spatula. Now glue all the parts using two toothpicks. Color the loader with red acrylic paint so it looks more realistic. Shape handles from light clay. Now moving crates will be way easier! Roll green clay into balls. Add dark and light stripes and create smooth transitions. Melons would also be great! Decorate with vines! Now you can't tell if it's real or fake! Only at our shop you can get the best that nature gives! Use a cocktail straw to pour milk. And yogurt into tiny bottles. A dishwashing sponge will come in handy while making cheese. Separate a piece from a sponge. Cut out a piece of cheese. Look, there are even holes in it just like in real cheese. But to make it more realistic, we will color some pieces with a warm yellow shade of paint. Make a few kinds of cheese of different shades. We wonder what we can make out of a toy car package. First, cut out the back of the box. Wrap the whole surface in foam paper. Do the same with a piece of styrofoam, and you get a stand you can fasten inside the fridge. Now, let's decorate our display case. We get the most out of our space. By the way, a shelf stand would look great in that corner. Hot glue two wooden spatulas at an angle. When the base for the shelf case is ready, we can attach wooden coffee stirs to be props. Glue shelves onto them. We can put on products after the glue dries. We bend cardboard at a 90 degree angle and glue on colored foam paper. Pick out whatever posters you like. <laughs> Everything needs to be weighed thoroughly. Exactly! We need scales! Glue a wooden piece to the top of a Lego piece. 
glue toothpicks to the back and a piece of a wooden stick. We can paint the scales when everything is attached. This hustle makes you so thirsty. Let's make fresh orange juice. Just a few drops of orange acrylic paint will turn plain water into a bright, juicy drink. Let's attach a mini tap to the bottle. The store is about to be open. It looks like price tags is the only thing we still need. Cut a T-shaped piece out of thick cardboard and write a price. Our store is ready to serve clients and make them happy with ever fresh foods. Did you like our miniature ideas? Then hit the thumbs up and click on the bell so you don't miss new videos on our channel, Lalaloo!